Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So, I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. Here we are, folks. Newsweek. This article's from a couple days ago, but we couldn't help but laugh at this situation because this is Bud Light being hoist by their own petard. Oh, shit. Here we go again. It has hit small bars, and I have had the fortunate, uh, you know, ability to frequent a few local watering holes, you know, both local and non-local this summer. And I have to say that the amount of people that I saw in the immediate vicinity uh, where I was seated, not very many people drinking Bud Light at all. The last two times I went to my favorite little uh, bar restaurant, uh, sitting there with the wife playing some Kino, you know, having dinner, and one guy. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. At the bar, and it was funny too because there was like five or six guys sitting next to us uh, rapping around the corner of the bar, just kind of BSing, and they were like, eh, they're, like, they're not selling much Bud Light here, are they? are like, who's drinking it? They're looking around, looking around. So, oh, just that guy. Boo this man! No! Then it's, you know, that was it. That was it. No, you know, there was no attacks or anything. Just, that was just kind of making observations. Nobody's buying the shit. Uh, you go into the grocery store, like Walmart, uh, or our other local, a like, couple family-owned grocery stores, the gas stations, literally, the Bud Light section is full. And there's a huge uh, party on the lake coming up this weekend, which is um, used to be, I believe it was sponsored by Budweiser at one point. And now it's not. It's basically in name only. And it's kind of funny uh, because I, I was like, I wonder if they're going to change the name or if you're just going to, never mind. Let's get into this article a little bit and just watch, we'll watch this little clip. Video of Bud Light removed completely from bar goes viral. This is, this is wonderful. Uh, video footage of a Bud Light beer tap handle being removed from a bar has gone viral on Twitter as beleaguered brand continues to face fallout over its marketing partnership with known grifter Dylan Mulvaney. The Anheuser-Busch InBev brand has seen its popularity plummet in recent months after the Transformer influencer Dylan Mulvaney unveiled a small partnership with Bud Light on April 1st. In a video posted to Instagram, which we saw in the opener, uh, Mulvaney said, Bud Light had sent him a can with his face on it to commemorate his 365 days of playing pretend. He's out of line, but he's right. A number of conservative activists subsequently led a boycott of Bud Light with musicians Kid Rock, Travis Tritt, and John Rich joining those who spoke out against the brand after the collaboration. Meanwhile, some in the Alphabet community slammed the company for not defending its ties with known grifter Dylan Mulvaney. Now, it's kind of funny. I mean, <laughs> they always tell you boycotts don't work. You're just a, you're just a bigot. And look, people spoke with their wallet, and this company lost upwards of twenty-five billion dollars in market capital, which is absolutely hilarious. So long, gay boys. Since calls for a boycott began almost four months ago, Bud Light has seen a drop off in domestic sales. Revenues remain consistently below what was at the same time in 2022. The company has also lost its crown as America's most popular beer with Mexican rival Modelo Especial now in the U.S. top spot and had quite a few Modelos. Excellent beer. Absolutely. Uh, it is good beer. I'm not a huge beer drinker, uh, but when I do, you know, I, I like I like the Modelo. Um, 
I don't mind a Labatt. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll drink a Coors. In a move to illustrate Bud Light's PR woes, YouTuber and podcaster Daniel M. Keem, who is known online as Keemstar, shared a video on Twitter that shows an employee removing the company's branded beer tap sign from its lineup at a bar. Uh, so Bud Light is so boycotted, it's being removed and replaced with Miller. Keem, who is based in Buffalo, New York, is heard announcing in the clip. It's been removed from my local bar. Holy shit, that's crazy. As the smiling bar staffer unscrews the Bud Light branded handle and replaces it with one representing Miller Light, Keem asks, really? Nobody's ordering Bud anymore? No, the staffer responds with a shake of the head. Captioning the clip, Keem wrote, my local bar finally gave up and is removing Bud Light completely from the bar permanently. Here we go. So Bud Light is so boycotting that it's being removed with Miller. It's being removed from my local bar. Holy shit. Hey. Hey. crazy. Really, nobody's ordering Bud anymore? Oh, my God. So, there it is. That's from Keemstar. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, the footage, which has been viewed more than 8.4 million times since it was uploaded on the 27th of July, drew a divided response from Twitter users. Let's uh, let's go over and we will take a look. So here's the responses right here. People are such babies. They're simping for corporations. Stupidity. Arg go woke, go broke. Y'all not even using that word right. Uh, Miller Light is better anyway. Oh yeah, here's the here's the Miller Light. Uh, queer history and beer. Like this is some kind of win. See, that's the thing. Like, okay, whatever. You know, Miller Lite does what they do, but they're not being complete morons about it. So, okay, there you go. I hated Bud Light before it was cool. That's funny. Isn't that replacement another Anheuser-Busch beer? I don't know if Miller Lite is. I don't drink Miller Lite. This is funny. It's just funny. Do you think they really switch, switch the keg, though? Yes, they switch the keg. They have to. Common Bud Light L. Good Bud Light tastes like complete shit anyway. Modella should have been the swap. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, and that's the thing. Like Bud Light is not even good beer. Right here, this is great. This is this gets it. So you're saying gay equals a mental disorder because Dylan and people like him have severe mental disorders, and that's not something anyone should be glorifying or encouraging, especially to minors. Being gay is not a mental disorder. Okay, it's not. Now Dylan Mulvaney, I'm still. I I said mentally ill with Dylan Mulvaney, but. I'm not sure if it's just commitment to the grift or if it's actual mental illness. Who knows? I'm not a doctor. Uh, while it was not made clear in the video whether the corresponding keg of beer had also been switched out from Bud Light, a number of Twitter users wrote that bar patrons could still unwittingly consume the beer brand. This is like saying you hate Pepsi, so you put a Coke sticker on the bottle. Keem's video comes after it was revealed Bud Light is now the fourth most popular beer sold in bars and restaurants, according to a company that makes software for logging orders. The brand was previously the top-selling beer in the 1,100 high-volume venues that use the union's platform. But in the second quarter of 2023, from April to June, Bud Light was outsold by Miller Lite, Michelob, Ultra, and Coors Light. Union's data, which was revealed in its latest on-prem insights report also showed Bud Light sales fell furthest in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Texas. California recorded the smallest impact. What are you, gay? The data reported a 34% year-on-year drop in Bud Light sales share from the second quarter of 2022 to the second quarter of 2023. This took it from the top to fourth place at unions, bars, and restaurants. The top 10 list for beers is completed by Dosa Key. Corona, Guinness, Modelo, Stella Artois, and Yingling. Yeah, there you have it, folks. Bud Light <laughs> falling out of the favor of people who like piss water beer. Uh, you know, I didn't drink Bud Light, so it wasn't anything for I don't really, like I said, I didn't really drink Bud Light, Budweiser or Bud Light. So n nothing changes for me. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I didn't have anything to worry about. So, but it is funny to see stupid companies that virtue signal get punched in the face um, financially. It is absolutely wonderful to see it. Uh, I'm absolutely here for it. And let's see, <laughs> when's, Dylan, when's old uh, Dylan boy here going to, uh, you know, get, get another corporate sponsor? Probably not too soon, buddy. Uh, listen, pal, you better pack it up and uh, just head home. Turn out the lights. You know what? We'll let Don Meredith uh, close us out here 
with his rendition of Turd Out the Lights, the party's over. I'm E. Temple Kooyan from The Place to Be Reviews. You know what to do, all the YouTube things. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all. Tom Cruise, thank you very much. It's a waste of good suffering.